All right, so we're going to fill um, nail or screw holes in a wall. And the most common mistake that people make when they do this is they don't recess the edges of the hole that are sticking out proud of the surface of the wall. So they try and overfill it and leave a big gob of filler, which is, you might be able to see up here, somebody in the past tried to do that and uh, it looks terrible. So you scrape in a couple directions and that'll get rid of most of the material that's sticking out. Once that excess material that's sticking out is removed, you need to create a dimple for the filler material to rest in and still be flush with the surface of the wall so it doesn't stick out. So just take your handle of your five and one. You can use a hammer, um, anything really, just to create a little indent there and then that'll be a, a nest usually for the filler. So when it comes time to fill the hole, don't use a five in one because it's too rigid. I like to use a putty knife that's flexible and that gives you force to, uh, the ability to force the material into the hole and also swipe it clean so you're not leaving excess material on the wall that will just need to be sanded. A nice flexible putty knife works good and I like to use this product Fast and Final because it is um, self-priming um, and it shrinks very little to no shrinkage on small holes so if you fill the hole properly and swipe it clean you won't even need to sand it. Yeah so the, the flexible using a flexible putty knife to work the material into the dimple and the hole at the same time and you can see that it ends up being nice and flush with the wall around it fairly shallow dimple, so there's not a ton of material here, so if you fill it nice and cleanly and don't leave a bunch of material around it, you won't even need to sand it. You can just paint right over it and you're ready to go.